a long time ago, in Troy. After the conquest by the Greeks, a man, Aeneas, escapes the flames. His father on his back, his son by the hand. After a long voyage across the Mediterranean, he lands. The coast of Lazio and founded Lavinium there. The Trojan prince Aeneas founds a city in Italy. But this city is not Rome. Aeneas' son, Judas, leaves Latium and founds a second city, Alba. Rhea Silvia was the daughter of Numitor Silvius. Numitor Silvius was a king of Alba in Roman mythology and a 13th generation descendant of Aeneas. Rhea Silvia walks, the royal maiden, the Tiber, to draw water, and the god takes hold of it. So Mars produced two sons, waters the twins, a she-wolf, and Rome calls herself the princess of the world. In order to avoid inheritance disputes, the children were abandoned. But a she-wolf took care of them both, until they were found by a shepherd, grew into young men. Romulus and Remus want to found a city just like their glorious ancestors. The brothers have become rivals, each of them wants to found a city on the site of their shared childhood, but there can only be one founder, and there can only be one Mowgli who grew up with the wolves. Here the versions vary. Some authors write that Remus died in the fight between his and his brother's followers. There was no going back because both wanted to found a city in the same place. They had rallied their followers. A dozen, maybe a little more. Both of them prepared for a long time. They thought about fighting techniques. While Remus focused on protection and had large shields made, Romulus had an offensive idea. Javelins. This way you can throw off the enemy shortly before the attack. He also had swords made. These were shorter than spears, but had incredible maneuverability in close combat. He had fewer followers than his brother, but with the wolf skins on his heads he had fiercer competitors. Both brothers and their followers met at a river crossing at the agreed time. And they attacked each other down to the last man. It was definitely brutal. The winner founded the city of Rome in 753 BC. Romulus reigned for 37 years. During a military display on the field of Mars in front of the city, a solar eclipse occurred. A huge hurricane arose and Romulus disappeared into the black clouds before the eyes of the others. Mars had come to kidnap his son into the circle of the heavenly. According to another legend, Romulus was killed as a tyrant by the Roman senators. There is also an analogy to the story of the biblical brothers Cain and Abel, a conflict between shepherd and farmer cultures. The fact that children are suckled by she-wolves is an often recurring motif in folk legends. In general, the fairy tale of the abandoned hero child is widespread. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do so now. With that in mind, see you next time. There can only be one.